I don't have a, a big background in, in music. And I run into a lot of people that like say like how much they wish they could play. Not like play like me. People don't say I wish I could play like you. <laughs> but they assume, like I used to assume, that you have to have all these things invested in it or you have to have this like upbringing that like facilitates what you imagine a musician to be. You just let your curiosity take over and you let that a little bit of adventurousness and like creativity start to start to form up. You don't you don't really need anything outside of the want to do it. I was running through Modesto like pretty regular. Some places out there I would go um, like like their restaurant scene and some of their bars out there. Uh, and out here in Merced, I, I put on a lot of my own shows. Honestly, this tunnel was my favorite place to play here. It was, it was dope, and it was our own show that we could put on. And there was like house shows. The house scene in Merced was kind of tight for, for, for a minute there. I wasn't like heading that up, not at all, but I definitely got invited to a couple rounds, and I definitely played a couple shows in some houses. And they were sick, man, because People really just offer up their whole living room to, to strangers in a band, and I thought that was that was beautiful. The Grand Romantic was the first full project I did by myself since everyone had left. But even before that, I had a couple singles that I did. Good Wine and Misery. It's a, a short EP I'm working on. That's cool. I have like eight folky storytelling songs. I get on these kicks and I write. I, I write so much. I wish that. Uh, the music I had available was an accurate representation of the music I have like ready to, to play or to, to put out there. I would love to make it big, you know? That would be amazing. And I would love to, to feel like deep down inside I was this like genius musician or this genius artist who just like sweated masterworks or whatever. And I like, I don't really feel like, I'm not sure if those things are true about me, but I do know that there's there's a piece that I'm, I'm wired some way that like music just works its way out through me and I'm, I'm here for it. So I'm just, just going with the flow. So the song I'm gonna play is called Fool. It's really been like my COVID anthem in a way. Just shit not working out for you and, it, and realizing that it's kind of like your fault a little bit. It just kind of came to me. I was real deep in my thoughts, I feel like. I was real in a heavy spot. And it was before a whole bunch of stuff in my life was ch had changed. And like after a whole bunch of thing in my life had changed, it was just in this real weird place, you know? That song is a real product of, of me being pretty, pretty vulnerable and pretty straightforward with my lyricism. And, and the guitar is like simple, you know? It's not like this crazy, crazy, crazy work that took me forever to get down or anything like that. And now it's 
so I face it loud I do And if they've gone Then they're better now I'm sure it's true When I'm faking my smile Dancing in place Tied to an anchor And tossed in the race Well, if I had a moment of peace Then I'd say that I'm falling as shit And I'm far from okay But I'm mostly a See